In this video, I'm going to explain how I failed my first three years in trading, the lessons I learned so that you guys who, if you're just starting or if you're still struggling, I can give you the lessons that I learned during those three years to help me get to the position I am at now. And yeah, just the struggles that I faced and why I struggled to reach consistency and learn as quickly as what I thought I would. So if you think you get value from this video, um, keep keep watching. Um, if you like the video, like and subscribe. We're growing the channel. I appreciate that. So let's get into it. So I might have explained this in some other videos, but if you're new to the channel, I started trading when I was 18. Um, when I, I just was in sixth form at school and I started trading on a small account. I mean, three periods was, you know, practicing, trying to learn, going, looking at the live markets, but watching YouTube. And I spent a lot of time on YouTube watching people and I didn't want to originally pay out the money to join a community or learn from professionals because obviously, you know, it's worse now, but at the time there's still that stigma of scammers and people flashing this lifestyle to attract you in so i was always cautious of not being scammed and not wasting money because at the time i i i think well i eventually bought um a community and at the time it was 500 pounds for the course for like the strategy so at the time as a student you know that was quite a bit of my money so i was thinking i want to i want to do it because i want to progress and learn maybe some knowledge that i haven't learned that i can't learn anywhere else but it was hard decision to make. Um, also, like I said, because I was struggling before that and I was there was ups and downs and I was learning off YouTube and YouTube wasn't really as accessible as what it, well, not, not accessible. It wasn't really as popular with videos and information as what it was, what it, what it is now. So I did end up doing that. Um, so I paid 500 pounds for the strategy. Um, I did my due diligence and I knew that this community was a good good community i knew a lot of people uh, not personally but online that had been that were doing it and they weren't promoting anything lavish and they were trying to genuinely help traders so i ended up buying that 500 pounds and then i paid this monthly subscription uh for them so i got live webinars and i got all the previous live trade breakdown videos and i thought as soon as i got that then my results would instantly start turning around. And probably this is why people assume some of these companies are scammers because it doesn't work like that. You still have to put the work in, even though you have the information, you still have to put the work in. So, and it can take longer for some people or quicker for others. So it, it just varies. But yeah, I ended up buying that community. Um, I was learning off people that were really good, genuinely wanted to help. And I, like I said, I thought I instantly, then that would mean I'm gonna be consistent I'm in the webinars. And what I noticed, and I'm sure a lot of you might have this struggle, is I'd have the same analysis as the professionals, as the people that were teaching and doing the webinars. But my biggest problem, and this is the biggest lesson I want to pass on to help others, because this held me back a lot, is mentality. It was the fact that I struggled with executing trades. So obviously everyone struggles mentally with different things, whether you're more risky, whether you're risk adverse, whether you're, you're too aggressive, whether you're not patient enough. So you have to look inward and realise what, what are your struggles with like trading wise and for me i i learned that a lot of it for me was um I'm, i was more risk adverse i've sort of come from a background of sort of safe and risk adverse so for me it was quite difficult executing trades so when i'd have a few losses i would miss trades because i taught myself out of them or i would just watch the trade play out in front of me and I wasn't I wasn't able to execute because I didn't want to keep losing or risk losing that amount. Even though I was risking small percentage of the account, it was still difficult to push the button and execute the trade. And that was my biggest struggle. And that held me back for a while because my analysis, when I was back testing, I was getting good results because there was no real money in play. When I was uh, watching the markets, I was predicting moves and people go, oh, okay, you do know what you're talking about. But for me, when it was parting ways with that money and risking one percent of my account and thinking is it going to lose is it going to win what happens if i have a few more losses my account's going to go down and i ended up struggling in that regard and i think the biggest lesson here is you guys have to work out you can have a strategy you can have a trading plan you can buy and pay for a community but you have to execute that you have to execute that the best of your ability and there's some people that are gonna i know someone else in the community that was more risky so he'd end up taking trades that weren't there they were completely not trade they weren't part of the strategy they were close but they weren't part of the things you shouldn't take and he was risking two percent double the risk he was a lot more risky so everyone's got different um everyone's got different sort of psychological struggles 
and you have to realize where you are and where you fall but that comes with experience and once you know that you can then rectify it so for me i knew that i was more risk adverse so i knew that i had to look for high probability setups i had to try and come up with a more mechanical approach so i tick things off and as soon as i tick it off i know i have to i have to execute the trade if i miss this trade how am i going to feel because if i execute the trade and it loses if i know i've stuck to my plan i know that's just part of probability and i had to really get my head around that because it was a struggle to part ways like i said executing the trade thinking what happens if i lose what happens if i, I continue losing but then i learned this simple thing, but it be, it's effective. Trade the process, not the outcome. So at the end of the day, you can't control the outcome of these scenarios. Like all you can control is, did I execute the plan to, to a T? And if I did, whatever the outcome is, I don't care in a way. I'm, I've already won when I've executed what I know I should, because that way there's no, you can't do anything, you can't do any more. If that goes on to win or goes on to lose, you can't control that. All The only thing you can control is, did I execute the plan that I know works, that I back tested, I know I've got an edge. Did I execute that? And if I didn't, because I was worried about taking a loss, then there's, you know, I, I would sit there and go, well, I'm actually not trading my plan. All I have to do is execute the trades when they're there and think of the process, not the outcome. Did I do everything I know I should? And then if I did, then the outcome should take care of itself. So, yeah, obviously, I'm sure a lot of you are in this similar position, you know, you've been trading if you just started or you've been trading for a while. And it's, it's a difficult, very difficult business. It's a very difficult business to succeed in. But the main lessons I want you guys to take away from this is, number one, you should get into a community. I didn't do that for quite a while and that I did my growth exponentially went up because I, I was around people also in a community full of people you're messaging you're doing webinars you felt part of something and then number number two don't neglect your psychology you and that only comes with time and you understanding yourself so if you guys get value from this video like and subscribe i really appreciate it comment your thoughts comment down below what videos you want me to make um obviously we're growing quite not rapidly so i'm happy to make content that guy you guys get value from and you want to watch so let me know and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.